In this tutorial I will show you uh, how you can use uh, parallax uh, fill effect and uh, this uh, is meant to be used on images uh, which have some perspective uh, by that I mean uh, like landscape images or maybe images with uh, some buildings so where you can use uh, straight lines and um, uh, I can show you some samples so you will know exactly what I mean uh, I'll show you some we have included in this package so for example uh, this image here is maybe not so good because it has uh, bezier lines in it but uh, this one is really uh, well usable uh, with parallax because you can see there is some perspective on the road and then straight lines so for landscape or architecture and so on and uh, now we'll uh, show you how you can make the parallax effect so uh, let's say that uh, in uh, scene 26 where we have this lion uh, this is uh, one scene which is included in preview video and uh, you have it all also in the project you want to change the fill and you want to say uh, change the fill image and uh, uh, put the parallax effect on it so for that uh, we go to fill placeholder first scene 26 fill placeholder and uh, you have to drag in here your image you want to use so we'll use that one and uh, for parallax um, uh, I suggest that you keep your perspective centered uh, by that I mean that if you want to uh, position your fill to left or to the right in the composition you can do it later because uh, if you are uh, adjusting the parallax grid then it's much easier to do it when it's centered in the composition than if it's uh, uh, left or maybe right uh, edged okay so position it uh, centered it's easier that way that way and you can adjust uh, the fill position later in the uh, next uh, scene so now we will go to um, parallax fill composition which is parallax fill 26 and uh, because we have already done some parallax uh, settings and changed the settings then you can see that it's not sitting here very well because we have changed just the image and if we put the checkbox uh, mark here show grid then you can see the grid is not uh, fitting with the image because there was another image below it so uh, if you are going to change the fill then the best thing is to do uh, reset all the grid settings and reset all, all camera control settings then you have a clean start and uh, it's easiest, easiest this way so we will do a reset to all these okay and also let's delete the camera keyframes by clicking on the stopwatch icon and uh, reset camera also so there's a zero in every thing and of course by default there is a scale in y direction okay now we are in the beginning point and if you are starting with a clean, uh, empty scene, then this is the picture you will see, so you don't have to reset. But if you want to change something, then you have to uh, use the reset buttons. Now your uh, next step is to adjusting the grid according to your image. And uh, we start from scaling X. By with the guidelines, it's... Uh, quite easy to see that it fits your perspective so 
so let's make one and we have a lot of uh, y height here so it's better to scale this up and then scale this in the z axis maybe a little less okay more in the z x x axis sorry so uh, the idea is that uh, this is a floor plane as you can decide by the grid and this should, should match your floor or the area, area representing the floor and then if you have something vertical lines the grid should match the vertical lines mm. first uh, usually it's best to scale it and then rotate it uh, to be on the place uh, And we still need more uh, y, uh, y axis height, and then again, maybe let's push it a bit further away. So you can type in if you are a bit impatient and try different things. Okay, so yes, I tried it before. You can't uh, really make it match with the first uh, attempt, but uh, don't worry. If you get your grid on the place, uh, the effect will be nice. So just uh, be brave and uh, and patient. And um, uh, now we have to rotate it a bit because the lines are going uh, higher than in the image. So just a little bit, maybe minus one here, yeah. And because it's not centered perfectly, yeah, more like this. So maybe minus. It doesn't have to be so accurate. Uh, you can check the look and then adjust the grid again if it doesn't uh, match what you are looking for. So basically we are done with the grid. Now the very important thing before you start animating the camera is to uncheck show grid checkbox because otherwise you will be animating the grid. Uh, and uh, this is the usual thing people do and uh, we try to avoid that so we won't have to make many steps again. So after you have adjusted the grid to match your image, go and uh, uncheck show grid checkbox like that yeah and now you can start moving your camera around and make the animation so uh, when you pick your image and uh, probably then you already have an idea what do you want to do with it what kind of uh, movement maybe something like in used in true true detective title sequence there are a lot of uh, move in or move out uh, parallax movement in the pictures and looks quite uh, uh, awesome so um, we'll try something like that here too and uh, we'll make it uh, dolly in uh, movement so uh, go to camera controls uh, set first keyframes for uh, z position and uh, you can even if you don't want to animate some uh, some uh, property uh, you don't know for sure you can put keyframes for every property because then in the end of animation uh, you have set some starting point so we go make camera zoom just to be certain maybe y position yeah and uh, now we move to four seconds in time further because this is the length of our scene and if you want to use longer scenes then uh, whenever you are creating keyframes you have to remember that uh, you make uh, start and end uh, keyframes time the same in every scene. Uh, not in every scene, but uh, the pre-comps of every scene. So 
uh, example, you want to use uh, scene 26 uh, with length 5 seconds, then you have to make all your animations 5 seconds long. And uh, ours is 4 seconds, so we'll now move further. You can see the parallax uh, already happening and we want to make it maximum. The maximum is, uh, you can see, it doesn't go any further because if you would uh, make this number bigger, then it would go through the plane and there will be a black hole. So there is a, there is an, uh, how to say, I have put a number here uh, over what you can't go, so you will always have your picture here. But uh, you can also use uh, zoom, or you can then go back and make the first keyframe with a minus uh, value, so you will have a longer movement throughout the scene. And uh, you shouldn't also worry too much about these white uh, areas going uh, to show, because uh, you can adjust the position in the next uh, composition, this way that it won't affect your final scene. So if there is a, there is a light uh, area showing, don't worry about that, okay? Now we can uh, make a RAM preview to, to look at it. I will make it uh, for the sake of uh, time, mm, skipping one frame. Let's see. And we are back. So uh, here's the RAM preview result. So you can see uh, a noticeable parallax effect. The road pictures uh, work really well. So try these. We have many included in the package. And uh, you can flip it or do whatever to the images. Your fantasy, is, your imagination is the only thing that will be uh, the border. So, okay. We, are, we have made our parallax movement here. And the uh, next uh, step is to uh, go to scene base composition. So it's scene 26 base if you uh, let's close this. If you don't have it open, take it from here. And now you can see our lion and there is a new fill image inside. And um, now we have already placed this uh, uh, to be on the left side. As you can see, it's not in the center of the comp. But if your, uh, if your image was centered, you you haven't uh, touched the position yet and you want to move it to left or to the right, then you should do it in um, fill pre composition. I will show you. So this is in comps, fill pre 26. And now uh, select parallax fill uh, composition, press P. And now you can see uh, if we put the reset value, so it's centered now like it usually is if you haven't uh, changed it. We go back to scene 26 space and it's uh, off. We don't want to be here, we want it to be to the left. So uh, again, uh, I am a big fan of uh, uh, using two composition windows, so if you make changes in one you can see the look updating in uh, another. Let's uh, lock this one. Go to new comp viewer and now you can uh, make the changes to position. So we'll drag it to the left because we don't even need the fill on the right side. And uh, this is the uh, this is the great thing when using uh, double exposure images. You don't have to fill the whole frame. You can uh, pick parts and uh, composite together many images to make the fill. And uh, it's really there's no uh, limits. So this is something we like to use, yeah, maybe a bit more. So now we close this composition and uh, just to check if there wasn't perhaps the parallax fill effect, then the place where you the place where you decide if you use parallax fill or not. There is a checkbox for it in scene base composition here. So scene 26 base or whatever number you are working on, go to scene base composition 
make sure fill controls everything you change on fill is here the controls click on it and uh, here on effect controls panel is parallax fill so if you put it uh, on then it uses the parallax fill you made if it's off then it uses the normal fill okay so it checked and now the last thing when you make the parallax fill uh, use then go to your final composition let's close this so you don't get lost so in final composition uh, when you are choosing camera camera movement um, it's a uh, it's a thing of your taste or likes but uh, there is a way you can strengthen the parallax uh, parallax movement so for example uh, this one is uh, Toll in, and now if if we would uh, use the camera which moves in also, then it would like uh, zero out it. It the the effect won't be so uh, uh, the effect won't be so noticeable. So I suggest you use some other camera which isn't the same direction as your parallax movement. So for example, camera to left like we have put here, and uh, we'll all also do a RAM preview, so we will see our final result. Ok, and uh, here is our RAM preview for the final scene, so you can see that we are moving uh, in on the road and uh, the camera is moving left, so both movements uh, we can uh, see. And this uh, lion is... Uh, you can see what the lion uh, is thinking about, there is two roads he thinks about whether to uh, eat today or not, perhaps. <laughs> so, um, one, one more thing about the parallax thing. You saw there was a checkbox for parallax fill in scene base comp. And you can also see there is a fill displacement checkbox. You can use both in the same time. It means that the parallax uh, effect is used if you made it if you use the grid and animated the camera and uh, if fill displacement is also checked then it means uh, it is projected on the uh, 3D face or uh, 3D lion uh, and if there is a displacement map like in uh, preview video scenes then the fill will be displaced on the lion also you can uncheck it and then it's a usual uh, fill there's less distortion um, like on the lions uh, high and low places okay you put it back then we have a double effect mm -hmm. and that's it for this tutorial